trees, ornaments, presents, frosty, and bagpipes? Christmas arrived early here at the Irving Arts Center. As part of our team leadership workshop, all of the city department directors are here. Um, our team building workshop is to decorate Christmas trees. Uh, it's a competition between four groups. All four trees will be on display during our holiday open house on December 4th. But there is no competition without rules. Each team had to supply all of the decorations. They're all based on a theme. And this year's theme is holiday movie magic. We chose Frosty the Snowman for our movie theme. And you can see that we've incorporated some of the City of Irving pictures in there, some of the Frosty Winter Wonderland theme in our pictures and we also have cookies and milk for Santa. It's Nightmare Before Christmas and so we went with a, a Jack. We used three of the main characters. We used Sally, his girlfriend, and Zero, his dog. So we've gone with the classic uh, How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Dr. Seuss classic, the uh, old version, the original version, and the newer version. Um, and so we've got actually our tree topper, which is meant to be Cindy Lou Who's hair. That was inspired by, I think that's the right way to describe it. We've got all sorts of Grinch memorabilia throughout the tree. We've got the Who's from Whoville, you know, singing the song. You all know the song. Um, we've got a lot of departmental representation. So we've got, of course, the magic red tag nobody wants to see, unless, of course, it's got a Grinch on it. We've got all sorts of goodies from the HR department, water department, rain gauge. The Grinch is stuck in here. That's his hat. Why, yes, that does look like city manager Chris Hillman. I don't know how that happened. Another rule was trash talking, which was allowed and highly encouraged. But there were only two teams that did just that. I think we have one already. Um, this was a great project and I think it should be an annual tradition. Do you think your team is going to win? I do. <laughs> In fact, I better get back over there and help them. <laughs> the other teams didn't quite catch on to the trash in trash talking. Instead, they admired the hard work of the other teams. There's some good looking trees in this room. I think we'll get, I think we're going to get Miss Congeniality. The Irving City Department directors decided that all of the presents brought in as props for the contest would be donated to the toy drive afterwards. This is an opportunity for us to give back to um, the community and we chose to donate the toys to the uh, Public Safety Department's um, Blue Christmas uh, Initiative and Toy Drive. So all the kids go, all the toys go to needy families. Two of the art board members will be judging this year's tree decorating contest, but what's a Christmas celebration kickoff without an ugly sweater competition? And with my snowman by my side, I think I got this. It turns out my sweater wasn't ugly enough. And with all the seriousness of work, the directors agreed that it was great to loosen up and kick off the holidays with some fun. It's a great opportunity to get together and bond and have some fun and have a little friendly competition too. This is so much fun. We had a great time, especially with everybody kind of splintered all around the city trying to figure this out remotely and all show up together and just put it together. It kind of, I think it came out like we thought it would. So this was a really great start to have all the directors at the Irving Arts Center today. All four teams were given awards but there could only be one winner. It came down to which team wore the most ugliest Christmas sweaters. And with that being said, Team Rudolph and the Island of the Misfits broke the four-way tie. The Grinch had the best tree topper, Frosty the Snowman had the best use of items, and Nightmare Before Christmas was awarded most thematic. As the Irving Arts Center prepares for the holiday season, Todd Hawkins reminds us that when we work together, we can solve any problem there is, big or small. When we can work together on trees, it's much easier to work together for the citizens of Irving and being able to provide the services uh, and be very aware of what's going on in the city and work together to solve it. This is Amshi Stephenson reporting.